Hello lads, I am checking in from a highly atmospheric autumn forest. Highly aesthetic hoodie as well. First and foremost, I have a glorious announcement for all German speakers. Dauntless has been translated into German and is now available as umboigsam at legioglorie.com and jotunamenutrition.de So if you're German speaking, order it now. If you have already read it as Dauntless, order it for all of your male relatives. Give it as a gift or a friend or something. Perfect as a Christmas gift as well. So check it out. First link in the description box below. Also this fine new hoodie. Extremely satisfied with it, as I have mentioned before, um, available now. So check it out, links in the description box below. Now I thought to talk about something that I usually talk about at least once each autumn, and that is mental health and uh, depression even. Now of course I'm not talking about the purely medical condition of depression, I don't want to get into that particular discussion, but, want, but what I want to talk about is you know, the seasonal dip in mood that many people experience. And I have a um, couple of questions for you, if you think this applies to you, if you feel a bit down during the autumn. Now, the first question is, how much time outside in, the, in nature do you spend? How often are you out in the forest? So if you say to yourself, be honest here, you might think that you're out often, but if it's only like, you know, once every second week or every third week yeah it's not enough make it at least once or twice a week it doesn't have to be long you know you don't have to be out for three hours at a time it can be a nice forest walk at some place for half an hour if you can do it every day all the better same thing do you get enough sunlight how much sunlight do you get are you inside all of the time yeah that might also be uh, something to change maybe you want to get out a bit more then third question, of course, this you've heard me talk about many times before, how much do you train in the autumn? I know it's easier to train in the spring because you have more energy from the sun. It's easier to go to the gym because you might want to, you know, look good uh, without clothing, etc. Um, so, you know, autumn comes, it's getting a bit cold, dark, you come home from work, you don't want to go to the gym because it's, I understand you're tired, of course, but you know, it's a negative spiral downwards. If you continue to not train, you will have even less training motivation to, to train. But if you train more, you will get into a good routine. It will be easier to train. You will have more positive hormones going for you. So that's something you can ask yourself and be honest again. Um, you only need to respond to yourself. You don't need to respond to me, but ask yourself, how often do I train? Should I train more? Yeah, if you feel depressed, maybe you should train more. You know, in the gym it's always light and, and warm. So even if it's cold and um, dark outside, you know, in the Temple of Iron it's, uh, it's better at least. So those are three good questions you can ask yourself. Then, of course, if we're talking about other things, such as do you watch porn? Do you still, after all of these years with me, do you still watch porn? Um, yeah, of course, you're completely frying your dopamine receptors, you're completely mugging and cocking yourself. What happens when you watch porn is that your brain believes it's the ultimate achievement. You have impregnated several attractive females. It's uh, what your brain thinks at least. And then everything else is just secondary. Then you have achieved a great victory in life. That's what you're, you're tricking your primal brain to believe that you have achieved this great victory. But in all actuality, you've just um, disgraced yourself. You have made your ancestors ashamed. You have betrayed me. You've betrayed all other brothers who are on the same quest as you. So, you know, putting that into perspective, if you think you have won this great victory of impregnating three fertile women, every other victory is much smaller in comparison. So if you have achieved something in the gym or at work or in school, that will be lessened in your brain if you, if you watch porn. So again, nothing new, but I keep repeating it because I know a, guy, a lot of guys still are under the yoke of porn consumption. So cut it out and I guarantee you, you will be happier. Same thing when it comes to certain foods. Are you eating a lot of high time preference instant gratification foods? Are you eating a lot of sugar? Same thing there. It gives you that sense of 
quick reward, that isn't good for you. Everything else in life gets um, gets worse. Now, of course, you can eat sugar every once in a while. I do as well, but I don't do it on a regular basis. And I do know also that if I eat too much sugar when it's cold and dark outside, yeah, going to the gym, the motivation will be a bit lowered because the sense of achievement will be lowered as well. So similar thing with porn. Then, of course, also um, this might not apply to as many of you, but do you do drugs? Some of you do. Do you do drugs and then you wonder if you are depressed? Yeah, okay, cut it out. Easier said than done, but it bears uh, mentioning if we're talking about mental health. Next point, do you have something to look forward to? If your answer is no, then create something to look forward to. Look forward to next spring when you can get shredded or look forward to Christmas. Christmas or Jul has always been you know, a highlight in the darkest of winter so people can look forward to it and you know, keep the morale high. Especially important up here in the north where we had such harsh winters. So have something to look forward to and again this might seem like a small thing but it's not really. If you have something to look forward to now it will be easier to motivate yourself to do things such as train or whatever it might be to study hard or something like that. Next question, how much time do you spend with good friends just in their company? You know, as men, we are supposed to spend a lot of time with other men doing things. You know, hunting or fighting or whatever it might be. Now, of course, we live in different time, so it might be so it might be good enough for you to just play some board games or go to the gym with them or um, train some wrestling with them or something. Now, of course, if you have a hunting team, that's also a good thing to do, but Ask yourself this, when was the last time I spent time with good friends? If it was a long time ago, yeah, make sure to, to see them. It's not good to be alone. Now, of course, I understand not everyone has, you know, a lot of good friends because of the modern world. It's not optimal in that sense, but uh, worth mentioning, at least if you have the option of spending time with your boys, definitely do it. If you don't have that option, you can always join a... Um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu club, always good camaraderie in uh, such places. So that's an important topic as well. So anyway, those are just some thoughts. I had to make a video when this absolutely epic autumn forest. But anyway, if you're German, again, order Unbeugsam. If you're English speaking, order Dauntless if you haven't read it already. It's absolutely mandatory to read it. You can also give it as a gift for Christmas. Then in regards to the clothing, sign up on the newsletter on legiogloria.com or follow me on Instagram there for uh, new updates. Coming a lot of epic new stuff very soon. So anyway, thank you for watching. XXO.